Alright, how's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome back to Poppy Playtime. This is being recorded on May the 5th, which as y'all may or may not know, or have been aware of, is the release date for the long-awaited and much-anticipated Chapter 2. The first chapter impressed the absolute hell out of me. You can go watch my playthrough of it right here on that card on the top right corner of your screen. Anyways, I cannot tell y'all how excited I am to play Chapter 2. And so without wasting any more time, that is exactly what the fuck it is I'm gonna do. Hey, that rhymes. Here we go. Wait a second, wait a second. So I just hit play, all right? All that showed up was chapter one, which I've already played. Unbeknownst to me, chapter two is actually DLC. So let me get this straight, Mob Games. The actual game itself was $5, and you want us to give you an extra $10 to get chapter two. You're packaging all the other chapters as DLC, which is much more expensive than the actual game itself. Are you sure this is the right move? I don't think that's good for publicity. I don't think that's gonna be a good look. What I do know is that it better damn well be worth it. Look, people are already, you know, giving it thumbs down for just for that. Are y'all sure this is the route y'all wanna take? Cause y'all are getting thumbs down. Anyways, give me a second guys. I'm gonna buy chapter two very disappointed that they're doing this but it is what it is i hope they reconsider after the, all the backlash that they get this right here this is just the beginning this is just the first wave there are many waves coming there we go now that's better chapter two flying a web with poppy now free the situation begins to change rapidly that hand twitching scared me just a little bit Rapidly while you search for any way to escape the factory. New game. I mean, that's the only logical explanation because I haven't played this chapter before. That right there is Mommy Long Legs. They made a whole ass commercial for this game too. With Playtime Co's new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Long Legs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. Wow. You're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Long Legs from Playtime Co. They made a whole advertisement just for this chapter. Now that's some dedication. Oh, what's going on? And somebody's telling me to wake up also. That's probably Poppy. Poppy herself, because I... In the last chapter, I let her out. I opened her case. Yep, that's Poppy. I think. Oh shit, and she's animated too. Her mouth is moving and everything. Shit, I am so excited. Okay, now what? All right, we're picking up where we left. Oh, oh my fucking God, what's with this frame rate drop? Okay, I can see the game is still smooth as ever. Let me make sure all my settings are up to code. All right, windowed, 60 FPS, best quality on everything. Resolution, 1440. All right. We're good. So Poppy is gone after I just opened her case. Where have I been though? Did I black out after letting her out? Oh, and E to interact with stuff. Okay, we're gonna go in there just a second. Let me see what's going on over here. Absolutely nothing. All right. So we're going down a creepy dark hallway Ah, Huggy Wuggy, the Cookie Monster looking ass dude. Gave me quite a scare in the chapter one before he fell to his death. Okay. Nothing there. And we got. This way. Somebody said this way. Wonder who that was. Was that Poppy, probably? Oh man, what happened to you? Okay keep going is that poppy she's talking to me okay 
So, okay, I can jump. Am I supposed to hit some monkey bars type shit, or? I am. I just got to do better at it. Let's try this again. There we go. All right. Just got to make sure I let go of the monkey bar at the right time. Okay, press here. Oh, Huggy Wuggy had a voice actor. That's nice. Nah, I don't think so. Give me a big squeeze. I promise I won't bite. Yeah, I don't know about that. You had some pretty sharp ass teeth. Looks like it was uh, made for biting. Come closer, friend. I squeeze you until you. <laughs> oh, it just reset. Okay. We got a door here. Oh my god, it's a key! I knew this was here for a reason. We just got all this shit blocking it, though. Guess I'm supposed to just grab the key. Hey, there's a flower on it. That's a poppy. A poppy flower. So, poppy herself probably left it there. There was this uh, door back that way. I think that's probably what this key is for. Call it a hunch. Okay. Elliot Ludwing. Who's that? Yeah, that's what the key was for. All right. Maybe we're going to find out. Let's see. My best friend. Thank you, Ludwing. Is Ludwing the founder of... Uh, this company that's making what's it called? Playtime Co. Ah, yes, we got Huggy and his bae, Kissy Missy. Alright, so this Elliot Ludwing person seems to be pretty popular. Oh, we got more sh Oh, my god, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, what's this? Oh, I didn't know you could collect that. Oh, and we got a tape here, too. And a note. Alright. All right, I'm intrigued. Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... How the fuck are you gonna do me like that? I guess somebody didn't want me knowing the the day. It's okay. I can always ask Poppy herself if I run into her, which I probably will. Okay, experiment 814. Notes, this experiment utilized a live rat. You know, I've never really been good at reading cursive, unfortunately, so I may or may not have trouble reading this shit, okay. The rat was fed three portions daily for two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, the rat was killed and submerged into a poppy flower and preservative gel mixture. One week later, an electric shock was applied to the rat, still in the gel, in an attempt to revive it. The rat remained unresponsive. Analysis. I still believe the potential of the poppy flower. Its unusual properties led me to believe that the proper mixture and procedure could have life-altering properties. The poppy flower has for a long time carried heavy symbolism, and I don't believe that it's for no reason. Perhaps something larger than a rat would yield different results. Hmm, interesting. Well, we're going through that vent now. Let's see what else we got going on here. 
Okay. <gasps> oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back on. Here. Okay. So, um, we found Poppy. All right, I gotta do another one of those electric puzzles. Hang on. I'm just blown away that, uh, Poppy is moving around and shit and talking to us now and trying to get the power back on. But failed miserably because she doesn't have the electric hands that I have. Okay. There we go. See the monkey bars here. Oh fuck, I missed. Alright. Don't you wanna come with me? You're making me sad. Alright, 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 hang on. Oh shit, she's actually sad. She's dead ass sad, okay. She's getting impatient. I better hurry the fuck up. I know, Poppy, I know. Hold up. As soon as I get up here. Come on. There we go. All right, I made it. All right, Poppy, we're good. We're good. Hey, I'm up here. Oh, we're back in this room. I should be able to follow you through the fence. This way. All right, where are we going now? Oh, through here. Cause I see this shit is on now. Alright. Oh, that is a long way down. There is no telling what the fuck is down there. Let me make sure I don't fall in there, so... I see the monkey bars. Hey, made it on the first try. Nice. Alright, now what? Alright. Listen. I'm going to need you to trust me. Oh shit. Holy shit. That was mommy long legs and just snatched her the fuck up. And it took her down there. I gotta go in there after her. I have to. What the fuck is this? This is a deep ass fall. What's down here? Oh, I'm going through a slide. Huh. I'm not gonna lie. Poppy seemed a little bit sus. As you know, this is a horror game, and the rule of thumb for horror games is to not trust anybody, but after Mommy Longlegs just snatched her the fuck up, maybe feel like I'm being a little bit too hard on Poppy. Alright. So I gotta power this on. the fuck? Oh. So when I, when I touch this, that thing is gonna come up and cut the hand off. Alright. Can I touch it from here then? No, I can't. Unless. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Let me see if I can do it without touching it. No, I can't. Give me a second, guys, when I figure this out. There we go. Finally figured it out after what felt like, what, 10 minutes? But still, it's very satisfying to be able to figure something out for yourself. And this is coming from somebody that cheats in these games a lot. But don't act like some of y'all aren't guilty of that too. You know, it's a, it's a rule of thumb. It's just how us gamers are. When we're too lazy to figure shit out for ourselves, we turn to YouTube. Okay. So I see that there's a button over there that we gotta press to open that door. This is a very long and ominous uh, hallway that we're in right now. 
I feel like Mommy Long Legs is lurking around somewhere. She could be anywhere. Shit. I'm approaching this with extra caution. Alright, let's open this shit up now. Oh my sh She just took my hand. Oh shit. Back up. Oh, she's got Poppy. Can I grab her? I can't grab her. Fuck. shit wow and now my phone's going off okay whatever i'm blown away uh she took my hand too so i'm down a hand that's nice okay this is the gaming station i take it yep it sure is Man, the ominous music that they use, man, they're, they're, they're killing it. Okay, what's this? Press here. Okay. Okay, that shit's not even working. Okay, that's nice. Oh, there's a green hand button over there. Are we going to get another hand that's green? Hmm. Maybe. Okay, so she's just playing conductor. Alright, what's this? Hi, kids. Welcome to the game station. I'm Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games to play. Three games. Musical memory. Okay, it's right down there. Let's party. Who the fuck is this? Ugh. What's that sound? I don't know, but I'm not trying to stick around to find out. We got a big hole over there. What's over here? Nothing. Wait, I don't think. Nope, just an invisible wall there. Okay. You know, I don't even think I want to go over there anyway. It's dark mist, pitch black over there. I can't see shit. Something could be hiding in that darkness right there, waiting to pounce on me and eat me the fuck alive. I don't even know why I tried to go over there in the first place. Oh my god, what is this now? The molding room. Can I get some light in this motherfucker? Can't see shit. Please let this be the lights. Okay, there we go. We got some light. Alright. We also have another tape. And I see the VCR right here. So we're going to pop that in. See what's going on. Playtime Co. The green hand. Ah, so we are getting a green hand. Shoot a green power outlet. To temporarily hold electricity. The electric charge lasts for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, the charge is going to run out. When holding electricity, shoot the green hand receivers to temporarily power other systems. They're on the same timer. Lack of caution may result in an injury. Shit. Well, that's not good. 
Use your grab pack responsibly. Okay. So we're going to get the green hand in this segment. All right. What's this? All right. So we got some machines going. What are these? Golf balls? Nope. They just melted into some kind of material. All right. Absolutely nothing strange about how that looked just now. Oh, this pipe over here is bent. I gotta fix that. Hold up. There we go. That's why it was spraying out in the first place. All right. I'm surprised that all this equipment is still functional. How long has it been? 10 years? It's been a minute since anybody used most of this stuff. What the fuck? No paint in the machine. Guess I gotta go in there to find some more paint, huh? I wonder what happened to all the paint. What's that noise now? What's moving? Oh, it's that conveyor belt. Okay. Oh, is that the paint right there? Hold on, hold on. Let me grab that shit. There we go. <laughs> I just grabbed it before it even finished um, coming off the conveyor belt. Okay. That's the paint. Now let's try this again. Uh-huh. Now what? I just... Oh, wait. I'm not done. You gotta get him out of the assembly line first. Now I can grab the hands. I can grab it, right? Okay, there we go. All right, so I gotta press that to hold electricity. It lasts for, I think I said 10 seconds. And then I gotta press something else to turn it on. So I get, I take it this is gonna give me my electricity. All right, and now I press that to turn it on. And now I can be on my way. That's pretty cool. Okay, do not enter. But you know what? I'm gonna go in here anyway. I can't even go in there because it won't open. Oh, I'm supposed to go in through here. What the fuck is happening to my frame rate? Somebody send help. My frame rate is getting fucked right now. To be fair, this DLC just came out. Probably has a lot of bugs on it, which includes random frame rate drops. My graphics card currently sounds like it's being put through the ringer. Okay, now what's this? Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you oh, complete no. the color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. So I'm playing when you Simon. If you a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. As well as my the life, test probably. Will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. Uh oh. That's all. Good luck. So I'm playing Simon. Everybody and their mama wants to put Simon in horror games. We already had Simon from uh, Security oh, Breach. Oh shit. Mommy hasn't seen the place I've been running in years. Mommy can only imagine how excited Bunzo must 
Oh! Oh no! Get that thing away from me! Okay, he's coming back up. That's just to scare me. Okay, blue, red, blue, red, red, red. Blue, red, red. Oh shit, he's actually coming red, down on me. Red, blue. Okay. Blue, red, red, blue. Blue, red, red. Don't worry about him, pay attention. Blue, red, red, blue, yellow. Oh my god. Round two. And that bitch is watching me too. Okay, red. He's gonna get faster. Red, red. What? Stop looking up at him. Red, can these hands move any faster? Red, 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 violet. What, violet? Okay, red, 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 blue, red, violet. Oh my god. I keep telling myself not to look up at this motherfucker, and I, I'm still looking up at him anyway. Okay, blue. Oh my god, orange. They're adding colors now. Blue, orange, violet. Blue, orange, violet, white. These are all new colors. Blue, orange, violet, white, and green. Oh my god. Blue, orange, violet, white, green, orange. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, round four? Okay, blue. How many rounds are there? Wait, letters? J? Blue. Uh, uh, shit, shit, J. Heart. Blue. J. Heart. Violet. Oh, shit. Blue. J. Heart. Violet. Pie. Oh, shit. Blue. J. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Ah! Uh, shit! Shit! Blue! J! Heart! Violet! Pie! Blue! Oh! Oh my god! What is all of this? What? Oh! Oh! Stop! Stop! Stop it. That's enough. It's... <laughs> it broke. Oh, it broke. I was about to say, how the fuck am I supposed to solve this? Such a splendid job. Mommy has decided to give you part of the code for the train. Look up. She is reaching her arm from there all the way over. She's got some long ass limbs. So this is part of the train code. Mommy was hoping the game could last a little longer. It's okay though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. God damn. Okay, let me get out of here. Oh! I swear to God, this game is just full of surprises. That was very, very terrifying. Very well done. Oh, what's this? The play care. So, what, are we in some kind of daycare looking place or something? No, not a daycare, but like, um, a back room, back stock that every, um, retail store has. Reject. What's this? Rejected item. Retail shipment. Reason for rejection. Entire batch of toys is miscolored due to Paddy Ball sabotaging the painting machine. Saboteur has since been dealt with. Oh, somebody sabotaged some shit. Barrel of Huggies. Reason for rejection. Choking hazard. Children tried to eat from the barrel thinking it was candy. Includes 22 individual Huggies. Chain them together in over 22 unique ways, huh? 
Oh, we got the boogie bot here. So these are all reject. It looks like this is like um, a graveyard of Playtime Co's failures. Oh, in the oven, reason for rejection. Multiple cases of children receiving third degree burns. And this is Owen oh, the Oven right here, yikes. Kids receiving third degree burns, that is not a good look for your company at all. Rejected item, kick me, Paul. Reason for rejection, nobody likes him. He was laughed out of a presentation while revealing kick me, Paul. Damn, so he didn't even make it past the reveal. He was canceled immediately during the reveal part of getting a new product out. That looks like it's another one of those gold statues, like that one flower one that was on the desk. Oh my god. Look at how this thing is just staring at me. With, and look at the lighting, too. That looks so cool. So ominous. I really hope this motherfucker does not come to life. That is not what I need in my life right now. Not in a game like this. But how am I supposed to get that golden thing there? Wait a second. Oh, we got another TV here, so there's another tape nearby. Okay. Yeah, we got a lever here. That's an outlet. So, we need this again. You can't fucking talk tonight, so... I'm sorry about that. Alright. Shit, I gotta get closer. There we go. Oh, I see the monkey bars on it. Hang on. Ah! This is what you need to get the golden thing. Because, see, I can't just grab it. And none of these motherfuckers will move either, so... I gotta use this. Alright, there we go. Let's try that again. I grab it. I can't grab it. Okay, now I can. What's this? Press here. I mean, I've heard better. I, I mean, that's 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 a kind of corny joke. What else you got? I couldn't even hear that. Didn't hear that either. Hey, buds. How's it growing? Okay. That ain't it, Chief, but you get a, a E for the effort. All right, then it just started over. All right, but um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Clearly this chapter is way, way longer than chapter one. So I might have to do multiple videos on this. I feel like if I play this entire chapter in one video, it's gonna be a long ass file and I'm gonna be doing a lot of editing and y'all are gonna be waiting forever for me to get some more Poppy Playtime content out. I'm trying to get that shit out as fast as possible for y'all, so. To make it easier on myself, I'm going to be dividing this into multiple episodes. But yeah, let me find this one last tape real fast, and then we're going to end the video. Alright guys, so I searched high and low and didn't realize that the blue tape was actually right here. On this ladder thingy. So I'm going to get it. That's tough. That's also pretty dirty, too. You complain about something and you you get rewarded by getting demoted. Oh, Bunzo the Bunny, that thing that almost killed me in that one segment. Okay. All right. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here, guys. I'll be back real soon with episode two. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Keep wearing those masks. Keep washing those hands like there's no tomorrow. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one.